Hi friends, thanks for tuning in to our channel. My name is Brandon and I work at Gibbons Recreation Center. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a barometer. What's a barometer, you ask? Well, a barometer is an instrument measuring atmospheric pressure that is used in forecasting the weather and determining altitude. If you like to make a barometer, these are the materials that you'll need. You'll need scissors, a rubber band, a pencil, a straw, an index card, a balloon, tape, and a mason jar. These are the five easy steps to make your handy dandy barometer. Step one, you're gonna blow up your balloon in an attempt to stretch it out. Okay, so let's blow up this balloon. It's pretty stretched out. Next, you're gonna take your scissors and cut the balloon in half. Now, for step two, you're gonna take your mason jar, take the lid off. Next, you're gonna take the balloon and place it over the mason jar, like so. To finish off step two, you're gonna take your rubber band and place it around the balloon to create an airtight seal. This is what your jar should look like after step two. Moving into step three, you're gonna take your straw, which is your air pressure indicator, and we're gonna tape it to the top of the jar, okay? So what I want you to do is take your index finger and place it directly in the center of the jar. Next, I want you to take your pinky finger and I want you to place it directly next to the figure that you placed in the middle of the jar. So wherever your pinky finger ended, that's where the starting point of the straw is gonna be taped, okay? Let me go ahead and show you. Now take your tape and go ahead and tape the straw onto the top of the jar. Now that you have steps one through three completed, it's time to start recording weather data with your new barometer. In order to do this, you're going to take your index card and tape it to a wall. But friends, make sure your air pressure indicator is directly in the center of the index card. Next, we're going to gently place the straw which is your air pressure indicator directly in the center of your index card. You may need to adjust it just a bit. Now that you have your barometer and index card set up, it's time to start recording your weather data. So we're gonna place a mark where the air pressure indicator is, and we're also going to note what the condi weather conditions are like for the day. Today, it's sunny, so let's go ahead and draw a sun. Over the next few days, we're gonna pay attention to the straw and see if it goes up or goes down. And we're gonna mark where the straw is for the day. And we're also gonna mark what the weather conditions were like for the day. Here's the data that we recorded using our barometer here at Givens. The way that a barometer works is as the outside air pressure changes, it causes the balloon lid to move up or down. If the balloon lid moves up, it means that there's low air pressure outside and higher air pressure in the bottle, which causes the straw to move down. If the balloon lid moves down, it means that there's high air pressure outside and lower air pressure in the bottle, which causes the straw to move up. Remember, weather changes with the air pressure. 
So for example, lower air pressure is usually an indication of stormy weather. Well friends, that's all the time that we have today. I hope you enjoy making your handy dandy barometer and I hope you stay tuned for our future videos. We have a lot of cool games, crafts, and other activities for y'all coming real soon. All right, so please stay safe, practice social distancing, and don't forget to wear your mask. All right, my name is Brandon. Peace.